Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today's tutorial is going to be on a makeup look for Mauritian Independence Day, which is tomorrow the 12th of March and we're going to go for a nice fun look. So we're going to start off with the brows. I'm using this Benefit brow pencil. Um, this is in the shade medium brown, I believe, but I will link everything in the info box as always. And then I'm going to carve this out with my foundation, which you guys will see in a bit. I'm also using the same foundation to prep my lids. It's actually the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, liquid foundation. And yeah. So now we're going to take the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and we're going to grab some red and kind of carve out a crease line. And then I'm taking the blue and again bringing it more to the inner corner. Then some yellow. This is like the colours of the Mauritian flag so I thought it would be cool to do that. And then I'm also going to take some green right in the inner corner. These eyeshadows are so like bright so I thought this was like perfect for this look and they had all the colours I needed as well so yeah. So after I've like carved that crease line I'm just going to take the brushes and you know blend it a bit better and I also grabbed some of my Tarte Shape Tape concealer on a flat brush to really carve out that crease and it just made it look neater. Um, and I was able to you know intensify the colors on top of that so I took a really thin brush and with the red I was like adding a bit more towards the crease line and then soften it um, up as I go towards my brow if that makes sense so then I did that for each color I'm then gonna grab this Huda Beauty Matte and Metals um, liquid eyeshadow I'll write the shade in the info box and I just put that all over my lid where I applied the concealer but this really helped make the colours pop even more I don't know like it's a nice shimmery like plain gold colour not even gold it's like a champagne and it just helped to really intensify that crease line I just really like this so now I'm using a Kiko eyeliner pen in black and I'm just gonna do a wing liner I'm happy I did a wing liner because I was like should I just put lashes but it just gave more like creativity to the look I don't know it just made it look a bit more fun then for lashes I'm using the flutter lashes in in irresistible and I'm just popping those on I didn't want any lashes to cover like any of the eye work we did so these are just nice and wispy so if you want like natural lashes these are like the best and even if just for every day these are really nice so now I'm gonna pop some moisturizer on I actually this is just a sample pot but it felt really nice so it's going straight in my makeup bag my skin's so dry <laughs> as always so I'm just gonna like rub that in I'm now gonna take some of my foundation which is again the hourglass vanish foundation the liquid version in honey and I'm just gonna buff this out with a brush I don't know if I like a brush or beauty blender with this but once you've got it all blended out this stuff looks so good on the skin like it makes your skin look so so flawless I definitely recommend it if you're willing to splurge some money on makeup because it is like 51 pounds but it's definitely a nice product I'm going to apply some concealer. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Neutral Tan. I did use the beige in the tutorial but it's a bit light for me I feel like. So this one is okay but it, bear in mind they do oxidise a little bit so it's not as bright as I want it to be but I just find that neutral tan works better but it's not as warm either it's more neutral. <laughs> so anyways it worked with the look so yeah, after I'm, I've done blending that with my Real Technique setting, I think this is my setting brush or brush, blush brush, I don't know, it's a Real Techniques brush. Um, I'm going to use some of my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in a much darker shade, I think this one's Espresso. And I'm going to apply this on my cheeks, um, the sides of my nose to contour a little bit and around my forehead. Not to make my forehead look smaller because I already have a small forehead. It's just that I like to bronze on the perimeter of my face. It just gives a nice like bronze effect. Have it darker on the edges and then brighter towards the center of the face. 
and again I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blend that all away. This concealer is really really easy to work with so I like to use it for contouring and things like that. Let me know in the comments below if I should do a video of like actually trying to properly contour my nose and get it properly pinched you know because sometimes I see these beauty bloggers online and their noses look so pinched than what they are when they have no makeup on. I then grabbed a smaller brush to blend out the concealer on my nose and I don't know I might do this more often because I, I just like it, like it when it gives a bit more defi definition to my nose. So now I'm going to use the Barry M Yellow or Banana Setting Powder. This powder has been really good to me, I don't know, I've been using it quite a lot and I love the like little sponge applicator that comes with it. So I'm going to apply this under my eyes and then brush it all off with a brush. This is just some random Amazon brush that I get from Amazon brush sets. Now I'm going to bronze a little bit more with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer in 35i. So I'm just going to apply that where I put the Huda Beauty concealer just to kind of like set that in place and you know bronze a little bit more because you guys know I love bronzer. I'm also using that same red shade that we use on the lid on the outer corner on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take the Benefit Bad Girl Lash Mascara. Um, this stuff is so good for like adding volume and length. Like I really do like this mascara but it's so hard to take off and sometimes I don't really like that. But so yeah, I just keep this for like special occasions where I want my lashes to look extra good and I'm willing to sacrifice the pain to remove it afterwards. So now I'm going to use this Kiko Milano Lip Thing, this double lip thing I don't know what it's called but it's in the shade 125 I believe um, again I'll link it in the info box but I just thought this color looked really nice with this whole look and it comes with like a lip shade and a um, gloss on top but bear in mind this stuff was so hard to take off I was actually so shocked like the gloss comes off easily but the initial color underneath like the first step takes ages to come off so I needed a, like an extra makeup wipe so I forgot to put highlighter and I'm using the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals highlighter on my cheeks, bridge of my nose and it just gave the nicest glow. And yeah, I think that's the end of this look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Happy Independence Day to all my fellow Mauritians and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!